Hey guys, welcome back to the Vaughn Homestead. Uh, today I wanted to give y'all a quick video on our newest uh, newest member to the homestead as well as our newest enclosure to the homestead. Uh, what we have over here, I'll get you a little bit closer up, but as you can see right here, we have a new uh, billy goat named, uh, we, we decided to name him Cletus. Uh, he's around the February, March. So he's right, right at uh, two months old yesterday. So uh, we actually picked him up uh, yesterday as well uh, from a buddy of mine. Uh, some of y'all may have seen his page or not. It's called Belt Loop 29. Uh, got him, got Cletus here from Belt Loop's uh, wife, uh, which is, you know, also a friend of mine. I've built her some chicken coops and we've done some chicken swaps and all that in the past, but decided to get one of her little baby billies here. So I'll let, uh, we'll flip over to the other side of the camera here and let y'all check out the enclosure as well as meet Cletus. So this is going to be our... Uh, for the moment, this is going to be our goat enclosure. Uh, we may end up putting the pigs into it as well, just for the time being, until we can do a... We're going to end up fencing in this area as well, and this will be end up being made for the pigs on this side, and the goats will be on that side for now. And I know some of y'all may be thinking that may be a little small, but this is just, like I said, somewhat temporary. Eventually, we'll have the whole backyard fenced in for them. But this here is uh, 16 feet by 16 feet. Uh, corner to corner this is a six foot tall door just like i do my chicken coops and we also i basically went with the same style doorway as i do on the chicken coops got the little 14 inch wall right here on the bottom to help to keep you know everything from, from running out as we're trying to go in uh, and of course knowing that they're little escape artists these walls right here are three foot tall with the fencing and then we have a hot wire that's right there at the top of the fence level as well as another six inches there and the six inches there for overall, uh, of course, obviously three wires there over the course of a foot, every six inches there to, of course, keep Cletus from getting out. And of course, anything from trying to get in. Uh, eventually, I'll probably end up adding an additional wire on the outside just to help with any stray dogs trying to get inside. But I can see here, these are solid 16 foot two by fours. This is a four by four post and all the corners the back panel is simply two 16 foot two by fours, treated of course, with a four by a uh, four foot four by four there, there, and there. Uh, and then of course, just added the wire to it. Uh, the front of it was two 16 foot two by fours with a four by four there and a four by four there, both four foot tall. And basically all I did was I just framed up my door and then cut out the little part in the middle right there. Uh, that way it still makes a good, secure, you know, sturdy uh, frame and all. And of course being able to get in and out without having to duck your head underneath anything low or anything like that or having to jump over it. The side panel, same thing, except for a little bit different. Uh, we did a 16 foot two by four, 16 foot two by four. There's a four by four in the middle. However, to where I can take this thing apart into basically sections. This right here is three sections, because of course I tied off of our dog pen with it for the time being. Uh, eventually there's gonna be a fourth section there. But what I did, I basically kept my gap there four or four by four, and just did a four foot two by four to connect top to bottom. So that way, whenever I tote, all I gotta do is take this screw right here and I screw out of that part right there and this panel separates as its own panel. So literally like if I needed to transport this or say for example, if I wanted to make these and sell them, I can make four individual panels, lay them on a trailer, transport them, and then literally take them off. And all you gotta do is whenever you butt this one and this one up against, this piece here that sticks out further than here basically lines up and these two will just butt up against each other. And all you do is just tacking a screw there, screw there, and just do that on basically two screws per corner and it'll basically connect all four of your panels into one whole frame. Let's go inside here to so y'all can meet Cletus. Cletus now has a four foot wide, three foot front to back, a uh, little shack right here with 10 all around. This is an 18 inch wide opening. And uh, as well, we're planning on getting a little female here soon, possibly two females. But this, regardless, this will be big enough for all three of them. They're uh, they're all going to be 
Cletus is a pygmy dwarf mix. The females are both, whether we get one or two, is going to end up being both dwarfs. Uh, but if it ends up seeming like it's getting a little bit crowded in there, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll make them a bigger one. Of course, we'll put it in the middle since, of course, we know Cletus is going to be wanting to get on top. And that'll help to keep him from trying to hop over the, you know, trying to get out from hopping over the wall or anything like that. So it's in the middle. We don't have anything along the edge. We got his little, this is his temporary water bowl. Eventually, we'll get him a bigger one here soon. And his little food tray, which I'm probably going to end up moving that to the inside in there. Or make some type of little cover right here just to where it don't get rained on and end up wasting a bunch of feed. But where you at, Cletus? Come on, buddy. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to do this the hard way. So, everyone, this is Cletus, our newest little dwarf pygmy billy goat addition. He's a cute little feller. Now, for anyone who's curious how the hot wire part works, uh, also another reason I went with the six foot tall opening instead of doing a level gate is because I didn't want to have to worry with trying to happen to hook and unhook a hot wire going all the way across the gated area. So by doing a six foot, I know he's not going over that six foot tall door right there. So I was able to stop the hot wire. I started it here and then went all the way around to where it ended here. Then I just jumped up, went all the way back around to come back to here, jumped up to, to the next insulator and went all the way back around again and ended right here. So there's nothing, no hot wire going right there where the doorway is. And in case you're wondering how to get the hot wire to work, simple enough, you just buy a little hot box. You're gonna have right here, obviously it says fence. So just run you just a little random wire from there and you can literally wrap it right around the wire. It doesn't have to be one solid connected wire. You can literally just wrap on around it to help it to tie into each other. And then you just run one from the ground where it says ground straight down. And what I do is I just get a piece of rebar. Make sure if you got any rust on the rebar that you kind of shave it off. You can see it's where I grounded it down some there. And it's down on the ground about six inches. And then you just plug it up and Cletus learned pretty quick that what the hot wire does and what it's for. So he no longer stands on the walls anymore, which is, of course, is what we want. Yeah, you learned that quick, didn't you, buddy? So, ho ho hope you guys enjoyed uh, meeting Cletus. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, uh, please hit me up in the comment section, as always. This is our first goat and our first experience with goat here at the Bone Homestead. So if y'all have any advice or suggestions please let me know because again this is a new beginning new experiment for us so hopefully it all works out and hopefully we can continue to have goats for years to come uh, as long as we can make sure we do everything the way we're supposed to so if you don't mind hit that uh hit that subscribe button if you don't mind give me a thumbs up if you think it was a helpful video or if you just you know like the interest of it other than that y'all have a good one